In today's video, we're going to tell you all about the Knights of Lights in St. Augustine, Florida. So we had a short stay in St. Augustine, uh, just outside of there. We stayed at the Four Lakes Campground, which that'll be an upcoming uh, campground review. I believe uh, once Randy gets caught up with our holiday schedule, we were a little behind here. Hope y'all didn't miss us too much. And um, one of the things I've always wanted to do was the Night of Lights. I've heard so much about it. Apparently they have a ton of lights throughout the, the city. And it's a big... Like three million lights. Three million, yeah. Something a ton. ridiculous. Like, that's what I said, like a ton. <laughs> yeah, a ton. A ton is three million. <laughs> and so, apparently, they have, like, this grand opening, which we didn't get to see. And they flip the switch on. They have, like, an orchestra and a whole big to-do when they kick it off. I want to say or end of November this year. I think it, it started November 20th. It runs through January 31st of 2022. Basically what we did, we took a shuttle from the campground, Four Lakes Campground. You purchased the ticket through their office and the shuttle was free. So That's we super convenient. It was great. We stayed at the campground, we purchased the ticket from them and the- uh, They shuttled us over. Yeah, our driver is a retired law enforcement, so that was cool and uh, he took us over in a nice van, a custom, you know, passenger van, and dropped us right dropped at the, us, uh, the right location, at the, uh, right at the trolley, and then uh, picked us up at the end of the night. No, no worries, no, no, no dealing with traffic or nothing. This was our first time in St. Augustine, so we really enjoyed it. We didn't know what to expect. They've got a lot of little shops and bars and whatnot that you could hit while you're there so if you do the free shuttle you don't have to worry about drinking and driving it's definitely the safest way to go convenience wise you don't have to worry about parking in the parking garage which is adjacent to the trolley station i think you said that was what 15 dollars to park there they have a 24-hour parking garage there traffic is heavy that though. way traffic's like really heavy yeah it's definitely so. during the the christmas season it, it's slamming i imagine it's probably that way all year round it's a pretty popular destination and we we really did enjoy it i think it's something that you should put on your your list yeah if we um, go back to st augustine we'd definitely stay at four lakes campground again and do the uh, shuttle in it's well worth it you don't have to worry about anything yeah just it, take it, you was, in there and drop it was you great off. he'll he'll do that so and what they do is they the trolley charges per row, so you can fit one to four people in your row, and it's $69, $69.90, I think, with tax. The tour takes about 30 to 40 minutes. You have to be there about a half an hour early. I think 15, 20 minutes ahead of time is your check-in time for the trolley to get your seat on the trolley. And what we did is we met another couple, and we were talking to them, and they said, oh, we want to go too, so we just split the row, and that's pretty common in that campground if you can find another couple that wants to go and they get half the road so then you don't have to pay the full seventy dollars for two people right. um you're paying 35 35 so. it was great and they were a wonderful couple that we met yeah we, we really enjoyed their, their we had time had dinner with them company. and then uh, we yeah. took the ride so you get these complimentary glasses which randy sport for you today along with a complimentary warm cider and, and a sugar, sugar cookie, cookie. Uh, well worth the, the money spent. Yeah, you get the warm cider and the sugar cookie after mm -hmm. your ride. It's certainly something that we would do again. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think what we would do is plan to maybe spend the day, because that is an option with the shuttle at Four Lakes Campground. You can go earlier in the day instead of just waiting prior to the event and being shuttled and over. Walk around the town. They got all kinds of stuff there. They got like these ghost, uh, ghost tours. tours. And, and the... Uh, there is music the whole time you're riding in the trolley, but we had to. Uh, you'll you'll to, see in our upcoming clip that yeah, we had to change it because yeah, of copyright issues. Copyright issues. All that stuff. So uh, we. But hope they you, do play nice music all the way the whole time and get you in the spirit. So it was good. It was a good time. Yeah, it certainly was. 
in our description, I will include a link to St. Augustine's a visitor website. So if you're interested in the other tours, they have boat tours, trolley tours, whatnot. Um, it just gives you basic information as to what events are going on. And it'll just help you figure out and plan your trip accordingly. And if you're going to stay, stay at uh, Four Lakes Campground. And we're going to do an upcoming video on uh, Four Lakes Campground with a review so look for that yeah we enjoyed our stay mm -hmm. had a good time and they're good people there it's family owned so they uh, really go out of their way to make sure you're happy and uh, accommodating, accommodating. And... yep mm -hmm. so. it All was right. an, it was a nice visit yep. put saint augustine on your bucket list We hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Drop them in the comments below. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up, click subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video.